Another social security mistake you need to avoid. This is, uh, there are a few in there that come in the top three to five, and this is probably number two of them, if not number one. All right, my man Big Mike writes in, Hey, Josh, I love your YouTube. Uh, I've learned a lot. I have a question. Are the social security payments that the Social Security Administration puts out true that you will get at the time of retirement. Thus, my wife is showing a $2,900 a month benefit at her full retirement age of 67. All right. So a couple of things going on here. We know uh, she was born no earlier than 1960. So let's say yeah, she's born in, I don't know, uh, we'll say 1965. We'll say she was born in 1965, right? So we're going to take our trusty... I do on that one these days. All right, but anyway, so she was born in 1965, which means she's 55 years old today. All right, we know, and she he doesn't say when she's born. I'm just assuming that. We also know she has a $2,900 a month at her full retirement age, which is 67. All right, so 1965 is when she was born. Her full retirement age is 67, because anyone born in 1960 or after is a uh, uh, 67. And her social security statement shows a full retirement age benefit of $2,900. And again, that assumes she continues to work until she's 67. Yeah, her income that she has now. Now, again, there's lots of ways that we can skin that cat. Does she have 35 years of work experience before her? Uh, I don't know what her history is. I just don't know. But we're going to assume that's what we're reading here. All right. Now, the issue here is we say, okay, so $2,900 a month. That's not that much, man. That's not that much because that's 12 years from now, and I'm only going to get $2,900 a month when I put all these uh, you know, years of Social Security in. So I, let's say I average $100,000 a year. I'm just using that for an example. I put in 6.2%. Uh, so for 35 years, I put in $6,200 times 12 times 35. So I put in $217,000 in Social Security for 35 years. Uh, I should have a whole lot more. So hang in there. It's going to make sense here in just a second. So what we do is, okay, let's say you put $6,200 a year in. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say $6,200 a year in is our payment. We did it for 35 years, and we got, uh, we'll just say for simplicity, 6% a year on that money. All right, we started with nothing, and our future value is $690,000. So we put in 60, uh, uh, 6200 for 35 years and we're left with $690,000. But our employer did the same. So we have times two times 690 times two. So we got oops, 690 times two. We got $1.38 million in there, all right? 1.38 million. So, by the, so for 35 years, by the time we're 67 years old, we'll have 1.38 million if we would have got our employer social security contributions plus ours. And before you say, but Josh, FICA is 7.65. Well, remember, the OASDI is Old Age Survivor Disability Insurance. OASDI is 6.2. The other 1.45 is for hospital insurance, what's called Part A. So 6.2 is what goes to Social Security. Old age, that's your retirement benefit. Survivor, that's when you die. Charlotte gets my retirement benefit if, uh, if, if uh, what's called survivor benefit. Uh, disability insurance, that's your, uh, your, your uh, disability. Oh, no, there it is. It's Social Security disability insurance, SSDI. All right. So 6.2. So we got 1.38 million, all right? And for simplicity, we'll say we annuitize that when I'm 67 years old. All right, so if we annuitize that 1.38 million, all right, we can say, we're going to say 5.5% a year. So 1.38 million times 5.5% a year, that's $75,000 a year in payments. So we're going to get 70, 70, 75,900. We're going to say $76,000 a year. Divide that by 12. That's $6,300 a month. All right. $6,300 a month. And there's no cost of living adjustment. You know why? Because if you got a cost of living adjustment, you're not getting 5.5% on the front end as an annuity. I'm just telling you right now. So $6,325 is what we're getting. All right, so what happens now? I hope you're with me so far. All right, so now people say, man, I'm gonna get, I could have got $63.25 a month and said I'm only getting a crappy old $2,900 a month. That's bull crap. 
So I'm saying, man, I'm only getting, I'm getting 6325 versus 2900 What the hell, Scanlon? I thought you liked Social Security. That's a scam. I'm not even getting half of what I could have been getting. Ah, ah, my feckle friend. So what happens is that $2,900 is in today's dollars. It's not adjusted for inflation, cost of living adjustment. So let's just say, now Social Security Administration, the tr last trustees report, the new one should be coming out here in May. Yeah, so well, today's the Thursday, like this week, maybe next week. But anyway, Social Security Administration, they have a 2.4% as of the last trustees report uh, expected cost of living adjustment, 2.4%, all right? Uh, they haven't had 2.4%. Actually, two years ago, it was 2.6. They reduced it last year, 2.4, which I do my right capital software. So all's good. All right, now, let's just say you're saying, I don't believe that, it'll be 2%. I also find it funny. We're going to have mass inflation, but the Social Security cost of living adjustment only go up 2%. So we're going to have mass inflation, but I'm only going to get 2% cost of living adjustments for Social Security. Okay. Something doesn't quite fit there. So they're either under-reporting inflation to keep the cost of living adjustments low, or we're going to get mass inflation, and they're going to basically uh, keep the under-reporting of inflation low so they have to pay us. It just, come on, man. I mean, at the end of the day, if we get mass inflation, you're going to have an increase in Social Security as well. Just, just stop. But let's just say it's 2% a year to make the Nellies out there who are negative, negative Nellies say, ah! You're not going to get 2%. All right. Let's just say it's 2%. So $2,900 a month is in today's dollars. All right. Today's dollars. Old uh, uh, Michael's, Big Mike's better half is 12 years from now before she gets that $2,900 a month. And it has to be adjusted with the cost of living adjustment. So $2,900 is our present value. Not making any payments, but we're going to get a 2% cost of living adjustment. We're going to get for 12 years. Our future value is thirty-six seventy-seven. Interesting, huh? Future value is thirty-six seventy-seven. So in twelve years, that's thirty-six seventy-seven. But Josh is still well below this right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so hang tight there, my my feckle friend. Thirty-six seventy-seven. So now remember, this has cost of living adjustments and is, ta is more tax favorable than the other one. So hold on, I'm going to show you something. All right, so I did an annuity, uh, a SPIA payment uh, for, um, what's her name there, uh, Mike's wife. At, and I'm saying as of right now, $1.35 million would give her $5,500 a month with no inflation adjustment. $5,500 a month, $1.35 million. All right, so if she were to annuitize this, now I recognize this is in today's dollars, we have no idea what the future amount will be. But again, we're using 35 years of Social Security contributions plus 35 years of your amount of money you put away into uh, your, your private account to compare against each other. Now, with the negative Nellies on Social Security to give them some right, um, you know, I've been working hell since I've been 14 years old. So by the time I hit 67, 67 minus 14 uh, is 53 years. So I will put more than, I'll put 18 years of income into Social Security for which I won't get a benefit from. But let's be honest, how much was I making in the first 10 years of my life? It wasn't very much. I did not put much in terms of my taxes on Social Security. So from 14 to 32, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, some of that money I did not make any, I did not, I will not receive back as a Social Security benefit. I grant you. It wasn't that much money. And it wasn't that much money for you either. I'm sorry. It could have been 500 bucks you put into Social Security. Your employer put 500 bucks. It's 1000 bucks. Yes, it does compound. I get all that. We're not talking huge amounts of money, my friends. I'm sorry. We're just not. So anyway, long story short. So we got $1.35 million. Right now, that would give her a monthly payment of 5500 bucks a month with no survivor benefit. Life only. Life only. You know what that means, don't you? When she dies, it stops. All right. Social Security doesn't necessarily stop when you die. It doesn't. Now, that is higher. $5,500 a month is higher than my Social Security payment of $3,600 a month. But my Social Security payment will pay a 2% cost of living or whatever it is. So we'll go to $3,677 is our, is our uh, present value. We'll get 2% a year. 10 years from now, they'll be paying $4,400. Uh, 20 years from now, That'll be paying right here. So basically in 20 years, when uh, when Mike's wife is 87, her Social Security will be paying the same amount of this right here. And that's just at a 2% cost of living. That's pretty close to what you're talking about. 
Is it perfect? No, it's pretty doggone close, man. People make that mistake all the time. So let's go back. I want to see if we can't uh, make adjustments. I want to see if we can't do it with adjusted for inflation. And don't forget, with Social Security, by the way, you know what else Social Security does? It has a survivor benefit. You can make it basically tax-free if you're smart. You can't do that with annuities. You can't. Uh, I don't think they give us it. Yeah, they don't even give us an inflation adjustment anymore. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's crazy, man. They don't even give, that's just that USA. That's nuts. They don't even give you inflation adjustment. Let's do another person to me. Excuse me. All right, we're going to say my wife. We're going to say Charlotte. We'll say she's got the same. We'll say uh, 1970. We'll say she's five years younger than me. We'll say she's a female. So now we got two lives to cover. Again, Social Security kind of sort of does. Look at that, 4867. So between, I mean, think about that. Between my benefit at 3677, and if Charlotte got a spousal benefit of half that, that's uh twenty that's uh seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars a month. So eight so thirty six seventy seven plus eighteen hundred. That's fifty five hundred a month. Adjust the list, a cost of living adjustment between she and I. That's just with a spousal benefit too. And by the way, if I were to die, she gets that. It's a big mistake you're making if you undercount Social Security, or if you just assume it's better to take it early, just because you can invest it better. Not looking at the tax ramifications, not looking at the other things in terms of taxes. Not looking at survivor benefit, not looking at spousal benefits, not looking at the cost of living adjustment, uh, not looking at the guarantees. I don't know, man. I think you're making a huge mistake when you discount Social Security. Don't make that mistake. All right, we'll see you. Love to hear your thoughts.